Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Crab Lord back again. Another video, okay? Now I've gotten a lot of requests just to mix a song from scratch the way I do it and not a how to sound like type video. So basically what I'm gonna do is record some simple lyrics and show you exactly how I would edit it from scratch to make it sound better. None of this is planned. I'm just gonna go from scratch and see what I can do. I'm gonna cut it up to make it less boring though and keep all the important parts in it. Now before we get in the video, make sure to subscribe if you're already subscribed. Hit that notification bell as well. So you're notified every time I post a video, which I'm trying to upgrade from more than once a week, but I'm running out of ideas and things are tough, okay? I'm lazy as shit. Also, make sure to check out my description down below. I got a lot of great things down there, like preset packs. I got my own music. Got DistroKid links for 5% off. Got social media. And I got all my equipment. Anyway, vocals from scratch. Didn't even record anything yet. Let's get into the video. I don't want to use someone else's beat. And I don't want to... And I'm not that good of a producer. So I use Logic Loops to create a simple, smooth little beat. Ready? It goes like this. Look at this, we're dry right now. So I'm gonna freestyle something up, make a little chorus, and then I'll edit it for you in front of your very eyes and cut it up beautifully. Oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. How to mix your vocals together. How to mix your vocals together. Mixing vocals really quick I love it and I make them stick Can you help me just mix my song? I'll do it for you all along That's what I did. I don't normally ever show dry vocals on any of my videos, but for this one I will. And you just heard me do it. So now we'll go through very simply and show you what I do. Looky here. Let's open up the track. And as you can see, nothing's on it. And we're gonna just go through it and play. How to mix your vocals together We'll mute it. What I like to do is start off with pitch correction, okay? And as you can see at the top of my screen, it says it's an A major. There's a chance that it won't actually be the way I'm singing, so we're gonna have to go through it. Ready? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it. I'm just gonna switch through different settings and see what works. So here we go. How to mix your vocals to... How to mix your vocals together. How that works. to mix your vocals to... How to mix your vocals together. Okay, so as you can see, the first thing I did worked for me. So I found the pitch correction. What I would recommend is starting in major scale and then going through every root till you get a good sound. If nothing sounds good in major, you go to natural minor and do the same thing. Make sure the response time's on zero as well. You'll be able to hear it a lot better and figure it out. But I don't want it on zero for me, so we're gonna have it on 44. So with pitch correction, it sounds like this. How to mix your vocals together. Okay, simple. Next, we're gonna pull out a compressor. And I did some compressor uh, learning recently. So go to dynamics, go to compressor, go to mono. Okay, we're gonna use the vintage FET compressor. Do I have any education behind why I'm picking this one? No, but it's the best looking one, so we're gonna do it. After reading about compressors for a while, I realized that the initial one, you kind of want to have this guy right here going between negative 5 and 0. So we're gonna have the ratio of 2.5. I like to keep it in between 2 and 3. So we'll do 2.5. The goal is here to have this little needle bounce in between about like negative 6 to 0, just to level it out. And turn off auto gain as well. Alright, so we'll play it. How to mix your vocals together. How to See how it's like mix your really big vocals to how to mix your vocals together how to mix your vocals to how to mix your okay and we're gonna make it up by two how to mix your vocals together I don't know what need how to mix how to mix your vocals attack. together how to mix your vocals to how to mix your vocals together. All right, so what we got here is a 2.5 to 1 ratio, a threshold of negative 26. Make up some of that volume loss with a makeup knob to about 2. Attacks at 41 or 40, <laughs> releases at 240. Okay, I don't know what the distortion handle does, so we're going to find out. How to mix your vocals together. We'll just leave it off for now. Now we have the compressor in. Now it's time to pull in the good old EQ. We're going to want to channel EQ, go to mono. We're going to start playing it, and then I'm just going to take out some frequencies I don't like and make it sound a lot cleaner. So this is the first EQ. How to start mix off with this little knob. Vocals to how to mix your I'd like to have it about 150, together. whatever sounds kind of clean. How to mix your but this is what the red one does. 
It eliminates the, the muddiness. Right about there is fine. We're gonna actually do stuff with each one just to make it more intense. So uh, this one, drop it very slightly to 200. How to mix your vocals together. All right, so we have this orange guy right here and we have the red one as well right here. What you wanna do is remove some bad frequencies. We're gonna start off with this green one, okay? Now what you wanna do is raise it really high and then shrink it a little bit, make it nice and thin. And then play it. How to mix your vocals And you can kind of hear what sounds together. horrible. How to mix your vocals to... How to mix your vocals together. It sounds like crap, right? Now it's at the 500 hertz area right here, so what we're gonna just pull it down. Let's keep it at 500. Let's do minus 5 dB for it. How to mix your vocals we'll widen it. together. How to mix Next your one, this one. We'll do it around the 1 to 2K area. Together. How to mix your vocals to... How to mix your vocals together. How to mix your vocals to... Right there, 1160 hertz. We're going to drop it down, keep it 1160 hertz. We'll do minus five again and widen it a little bit. Okay. To about three. I like having it at three. I don't know what that three means, but I like having it at three. Next, we got the blue. Usually, like, they actually raise it here. So, ready? How to mix your vocals together. How to mix your vocals to... How to mix your vocals together. So between 2K and 5K, we're gonna do a little slight 3 dB raise. How to mix your... And then we're also gonna do with the purple, raise it a little bit from 5K, make it two, activate this one and pull it down. Bring it down here to get rid of this harsh S sound. So let me show you. Okay, and that's your EQ. How does that sound now? How to mix your vocals together. I'm, I apologize so far if this is sloppy or hard to follow. Next in the plugin strip, we're gonna go with a we're gonna go with a little noise gate to clean up the background noise that I have going. So what I like to do is go to the preset, tighten up. How to mix your vocals together. It's a little too intense. So we're gonna make it about 45. Change the threshold and that's it. How to mix your vocals together. Okay, that's it for the noise gate. Next one of my favorite plugins is a, a multipressor. Where that is, it's a Dynamics Multipressor Mono. It's gonna come up like this. And now you can do it manually, but one of my favorite things to do is go into factory. And it would be called Hi-Fi Drums. Okay, Hi-Fi Drums. How to mix your vocals together. How to Sounds clean. mix Without your it? vocals together. And we can edit it from here. So what we're going to do is take the one and make it negative two. How to mix your vocals together. How to mix your vocals to... How make the two negative five. Three. How to mix your vocals together. Keep three the same. And also keep four this. How to mix your vocals together. How to mix your vocals to. How to mix your vocals together. Okay, what I just showed you was very important, but the I feel like the most important plugin to use is um, Space Designer or any of the reverb. Now we're gonna activate two buses. I like to have one for a delay and then one for a reverb. So the first one we're gonna do is a delay. We're gonna go to bus, go to bus one. As you can see, it opens up right here. Go into it, delay. We'll run with a tape delay in mono. And I'm gonna turn it all the way up so you can hear everything. How to, how to mix your mix vocals to how to how mix to your mix vocals to how to mix your to vocals to vocals together how to, how to mix your mix your I think that's right that sounds okay right that sounds okay how to how mix your mix vocals okay what I'm going to do is the delay time is 1 fourth, and you can always just change and see what sounds good with the delay time but really important here is low cut and high cut so I'm going to play it how to mix your mix vocals to how to how mix to your mix vocals to how to how mix to your mix vocals to how to how mix to your mix okay your we got 310 in 5000 and we're going to play with the wet and dry right now how to how mix to your mix vocals, vocals to 
how to, how to mix your mix your 30 is perfectly fine. Feedback is how much it comes out, so we'll play the feedback. How to, how to mix your mix your vocals to how to, how to. I like 13. We're going to keep it like that. Okay, I don't know what smoothing does. We're going to leave that alone. So that's the delay. Now with the knob, you don't want it like this, so. How to, how to mix your mix vocals to how to mix your vocal. That's clean. Next, we're gonna go with a bus two, and in the bus two is the most important plugin, in my opinion, which is Space Designer. So once it's open, go into Reverb Space Designer Mono Stereo, and the best preset, and I've used it in almost every one of my tutorials in the past and future, even though that makes no sense. Uh, we're gonna go to 2.6 second vocal plate and large space plate reverb, and bring the wet to about negative five. In a uh, low spread, make it 80. How to mix your vocals together? 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 Change it zero wet thirty dry. How to mix your vocals together? How to mix your vocals to Okay, so I like that mix right there. So what we're gonna do to make it cut through more is we're gonna click our main track right now. Right now. Command D. Okay, now we made it again. Click this empty cell. Go into delay. Sample delay. Mono stereo. Delay it right or left. Why does it sound so bad? So as you can hear when I'm talking, it sounds like it's around your head. That's what sample delay does. Now it's not exactly meant for this, I think, but I like the way it sounds. So we're gonna add more reverb to it and remove some of the delay. So I have a 12. Okay, we have the sample delay on. Change it up a bit. More reverb, drop it low. How to mix your vocals to How to mix your vocals to together How how We made the backup track really really quiet because it's just going to fill in that empty space a little bit How to mix your vocals to together How to mix your vocals to How to Mixing vocals really quick I love it in the make them stick Can you help me just mix my song? I'll do it for you all along Now that to me sounds pretty good. It might vary for you because I use the beat that's all loops and it's not it's mixed differently than some other beats you're gonna use. But basically if you follow what I did there and kind of tweak it yourself a little bit differently based on the beat you're mixing it with, it could work out for you. Now how I would actually do it, to fill the space more like to harmonize, okay, so what I would do Mixing vocals really quick I love it and I make them stick We're gonna just take this track and duplicate it again Bring the harmony down And pan a little bit to the, to the left And drop it Okay, let's play it How to mix your vocals together Mixing vocals really quick I love it and I make them stick Can you help me just mix my song? And that's it. It's very simple. I guarantee you if I made this video again with a different beat, I would mix it a little bit differently. But this is what I did for this. I hope that helped a lot. I hope it wasn't too confusing or too boring. If I was going to mix a song like I actually do, it takes me like literally 24 hours. But this is very quick and sounds very good. Easy to do. All stock plugins. That's free, guys. That's free what free means. So with that being said, that's about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed that video as well as learned something as well. Make sure to leave a like down below and drop a comment. Tell me what you think and what I should do next. Like I said before, make sure to subscribe if you're already subscribed. Notification bell as well. My description is chock full of great things. Those things will help you and me at the same exact time. If you like this type of video, more of like a learning thing, maybe more experimental type videos, let me know and I will probably make more. It helps me learn as well. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a crowd lord. How to mix your song from scratch using only Logic stock plugins. And loops too if you, if you if you want. And anyway, like always,